Hello, everybody. This is Maxine Taylor, America's first licensed astrologer, and I have the astrological overview for April. Some of you who have been following me for years are probably amazed that I'm getting this recorded um, like a week ahead of time. Uh, I'm so grateful. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you for giving me the time to do this. So before I jump in with uh, all the tidbits, um, I want to tell you that in looking around at what's been going on uh, on our planet, I realize that we need a more uplifting from each other. And so I want to tell you, I have a new show on my YouTube channel. It's called Choose Happy. You can either be happy or you can be sad. And you might say, oh, I, but you haven't seen my life. Um, I don't need to. I've been there. And all of us have been in a place where we were unhappy. And so... I'm offering you, they're, they're not astrology ideas. They're, they have nothing to do with astrology. They go beyond astrology. And I'm going to give you uh, tips that I have found personally that work for me to keep me happy. Okay? So, if you haven't seen it yet, please... Once again, there's no charge for it. Um, all you got to do is choose happy. So uh, I'm going to talk about today's uh, eclipse. <clears throat> I know it's March, but it has been a doozy, right? Okay, let's go forward to April. And on the new moon, oh, this is so much better. The new moon on April 8th, we have another eclipse. It is a total solar eclipse. And so what you're going to want to do on this new moon, a uh, solar eclipse, is find out where it is in your birth chart. I will tell you where it is in your solar chart and you'll be able to watch it. I'll explain it to you and it'll prepare you. All right. So after I finish the overview, I'll start recording the um, sun signs. And if I don't finish them today, don't worry, they'll be done before April 1st. So this solar eclipse on April 8th is in 19 degrees and 24 minutes of Aries. Let's call it 19 Aries. And what you're going to do is find 19 Aries in your birth chart. And by the way, if I have not yet done um, a six-month forecast for you uh, on your personal chart, of course, or a 12-month forecast, this might be a really good time to consider doing it. It's the beginning of the year. We're going to be having uh, all kind of um, elections going on. They've already started. I, I won't even, mm, 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 you know, I am however, including in my U.S. forecast for each month the solar reading for Trump and for President Biden. They're already up, so I hope you find them helpful. I will be doing them every single month because people, I think, need to know what's going on. All right, back to what I started. Typical Gemini, I'm all over the place. I know that. Okay, 
the new moon, the solar, the solar eclipse, April 8th. Um, and on a new moon, energy starts flowing. This is super. Then two weeks later, we've got a full moon. No, it's not an eclipse. Don't worry about it. But it is a full moon. And on the full moon, things go pop. This particular full moon on April 23rd is in four degrees of Scorpio. Find four Scorpio in your birth chart and watch uh, the video on your sun sign that hopefully I will be getting through today, if not tomorrow. Um, and you've got the whole picture. Let me tell you where the planets are in April. Well, first of all, uh, the sun is in Aries. And when uh, the sun is in Aries, everybody, it, it's like we become Aries. Um, we're, we want things now, uh, wherever Aries is in your chart, that's where you, you say, I want to do it now, uh, not tomorrow, uh, not an hour from now, now. It puts the emphasis on you. This is really cool. And if you are an Aries, happy birthday. On the 19th, the sun moves into Taurus. Taurus is so totally different from Aries, as many of you know. Tar, while Aries says, I want it now, Taurus says, I'll get to it. Just let me do it in my own time. And they will finish the project. No problem. Taurus is very practical, very logical, and looks at how much things cost. Um, I always tease and say those of us with any Taurus in our chart can be bought with a sandwich. Um, Taurus understands how to have fun. That means the basic pleasures of life. So it, you've got Aries going full speed ahead and on the 19th, it slows down and is manageable. Venus, the planet of love and money and beauty is in Pisces, this is the dreamer. Pisces is the one who says, um, I wish, I wish, I wish. And you know what? Sometimes those wishes come true. Okay. On the fifth, Venus joins the sun in Aries. And you, the, everybody's concept of money and love changes. And we're on high speed. I hope that's clear, you know, from just sitting and enjoying and having a beautiful time. We're ready to go. We're ready to hit the ground running. And on the 29th, Venus moves into its own sign. Taurus. Yeah, good old Taurus. And so things are going to be very Taurian. Now, Venus is the lesser benefic. It is one of the good guys. Venus and Jupiter are the two fabulous good guys of the Zodiac. So enjoy. I mean, seriously, enjoy. Now, Mercury, good old Mercury. <clears throat> Excuse me. We are pollinated here in Atlanta. I hope you're not pollinated where you are. Mercury is in Aries. Yay! But on the first of the month, which is, you know, let's see, I, this is the 25th of March. So you, the, when I'm recording this, I know a miracle has taken place. Um, Mercury goes retrograde on April 1st. And that's not April Fool's. It goes retrograde. And it doesn't go direct until the 25th. At that point, it will move into the shadow of the retrograde for a couple of weeks. And it'll when it's in the shadow, it will feel just like it's retrograde. It's not, but it seems like it is. What you want to do while Mercury's retrograde is tie up 
the loose ends of unfinished projects. I don't know about you, but most people have uh, unfinished projects at various stages of completion in their home or garage. So that's what you want to do. And if there has been a rift between you and um, a loved one, um, this would be the time to tie up a loose end and apologize and pick up the pieces. Okay, then we're talking about Mars. Mars is passionate. Mars says, uh, well, it depends on the sign that Mars is in. I just realized Mars is in Pisces, which is uh, the antithesis of Mars. Uh, Mars says, this is what comes first to me, and I'm willing to fight with or for this number one priority in my life. And so here is Mars, action, energy, in dreamy Pisces. So complete the dream. On the 30th of April, Mars moves into its own sign, Aries. And if we thought we saw uh, Aries when the sun was in it, or Venus, or even Mercury, we ain't seen nothing till we've seen Mars in its own sign, Aries. It's on your mark, get set, go. Now, Jupiter, the, le the greater benefic, is um, in Taurus all month, and it's going to stay in Taurus for a while. This enhances your money. And if it happens to fall in your second house of money, super, buy a lottery ticket, all right? So that's the overview. Um, I hope you will uh, follow all the videos that I'm, I'm recording and start with your own sun sign, of course. And then check up on loved ones. Read their sun signs so that you can help them and uh, show your love for them. So, on your mark, get set, go. May the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now.